you giving, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. There won't really be an intro for this one. I just haven't uploaded in a while. I don't have any excuse, but um, I saw in the comments of my last video and someone wanted me to show uh, a tutorial on how to make your pose slash animation stand up or um, lie down. So I will be showing that in today's video. So if you guys are new to uh, Roblox Studio, then um, if you guys click onto the uh, software app, whatever you want to call it, and then go onto new and click onto classic base plate or uh, flat terrain or just any of these, whatever one you want. So I'm going to click on classic base plate just because I'm uh, showing you guys how to do this. So um, first thing you want to do when you load in is of course like add any detail you want to the map, any furniture, like houses or whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to type up uh, bed because I want to show a lying down one. Um, let's quickly see here. Let's just add this this bed here, it looks nice and simple. And then we also want to add a wall, for a wall I'll just select a part, um, anchor that and then scale it, uh, let's just do that size there. Let's um, also go ahead and select a spawn location. Uh, you want to do that by going onto workspace, clicking this plus bar next to it right over here, and then uh, spawn location is right here. So um, I'm going to quickly go into spawn location, delete the decal, and make that um, transparency as one and that will make it fully uh, invisible and then you want to untick the can collide bit so let me quickly scale this like oh god okay let's, let's make this a different color as well let's make it green okay um, so first things first you want to go onto your toolbox um, if you don't have it um, anywhere on your screen you want to go into view and then hit the toolbox right up over here and then it will just appear so this is like the place where you can find free models and just basically free things to help your games so uh, if you go onto the search bit here and type up C4 animations and then um, enter it sh the first one should be just an invisible one it's by 4TPK with almost two, 2,000 votes. If you quit that, or, or sorry, uh, if you take that, uh, put the transparency to zero just so you can see where it is for now, uh, you'll be able to change that back to where it was. But if you select that, and then as you guys can see, it appears here, it has a sit anim, uh, anim sorry, uh, over here where you can put your ID, which we will get to very soon. So what you want to do now is go into plugins, um, make sure you either have the moon animator downloaded or the load character. Uh, if you want to download these but you don't have them just yet, you want to go back onto your toolbox um, and where it says models, you want to click onto that and then go down to plugins. Once you are on plugins, okay. Um, they they should be at the very top as they are like the most uh, the most used ones, but yeah, that's how you do that. So what you want to do first um, is just insert your avatar or any other avatar. Make sure it is on R15, just uh, so it's um, editable. Um, next thing you want to do is the link will be in the description for this uh, plugin. It's called the Animation Ed Editor 331 or if you don't want to take it from the description you can go into plugins and type up Animation Editor There we go and then um, it should come up for some reason it's not coming up for me but um, it should come up and uh, if we click onto it it will say no rig selected so we just click onto the torso of our rig 
and then it will bring us onto this screen here. So from here you can practically select any body part of your um, avatar or your, whoever you're editing and then you can uh, you can sort of like rotate those let me quickly, oh god, I can't even click that you can like rotate those and move them about so if you want to make a line down one uh, I just explained the exact same stuff in my other video but obviously it was quite long ago so uh, I didn't really know how to do this but now that I found out I'm making a YouTube video on it um, but yeah, you want to pra practically rotate this bit right over here under your torso and uh, just rotate it so he's lying down whatever way you want so the next thing I'm going to do is just uh, edit him so I want to make that sort of like bending um, I think I can, I need to make that like sort of like the same level as my other leg ok there we go so then maybe just like move, oh god maybe move like this like the uh, side of it just like that and then uh, we can rotate the head so it's a bit like that um, maybe maybe you can even lift the head up for the pillow as well so that will look better we can, we can also uh, rotate the torso a bit for the, for the pillow just like that. And then for the hands I just want to keep those simple and straighten them like that or bend them sorry okay and that is our uh, lying down animation done or pose and the uh, next thing you want to do do not click the uh, X just yet you want to go into the edit bar right up here and then go down to where you see set looping click onto that and uh, click yes that will practically make it loop so it will like stay there and then if you go back onto edit and go and set priority and set it as idle <coughs> it will then stay in that position and it won't like move or stop or do any of that so once you've done them you want to go into the file bit right up here in this bar and then if you want to save it and maybe um, load it another time in case you want to update it then uh, that's also fine but if you want to save it and load it another time then you will have to keep this rig inside of your game and just make him non arch uh, achievable however you want to say that in the game so I'm not going to save it but um, I'm just going to click export right over here and then you don't have to make a description or a title unless you want to um, put your uh, animation for free as a model so once we've done that it should bring us a link with um, numbers so as you guys can see we've went onto the link um, and as you guys can see up here there are numbers you want to grab those numbers and copy them once you've done that you can go back onto your game, close that, close that, and then if we go, <coughs> and then if we go onto home, uh, go back onto the seat, go on to sit, and um, and then as you guys can see down here, uh, the thing we have copied right now or highlighted um, is the number zero. If we just uh, paste our ID into there and enter, should now have our ID of our sit, and um, there. So next, you want to just close that, and then cl let's click on to play and see if it's worked. Um, so once we've done this, we might have to rotate. Oh god! Oh no! It's actually came out perfect first try. So that's how it looks. It is a tiny bit above the bed, but um, if you don't like the way that looks, then you can just take the seat animation down, move it down the way. So I think that's came out pretty well, the line down one. Next, um, let's try and do the, the standing up animation. So for this one, I'm just going to duplicate um, that and take it into the middle of this wall. Maybe let's just scale this wall down so we can get a better view of it. Just like that. So for this one, what I want to do is take this guy right back onto animation editor and then probably just make a standard one so see what we can do 
maybe maybe something like this sort of like uh, his legs like bent against the wall we'll have to move this a lot forward though and then bend yeah and then just like that I'd say mine's is a bit glitchy because of the trousers I've made <laughs> not great but um shouldn't be like this if you've got like a skinny avatar or just not like these block avatars um let's see what else I can do maybe just like lift the hands forward arm sorry and then put them inside like that something like that something like that and then maybe just lift this head a tiny bit but yeah this is gonna be my sort of like standing up uh, animation not great but um but honestly like it's just a showcase so i'm not really gonna go full try hard let's try and straighten that yeah that's nice okay um you can also um with this animation editor you can also click r onto your keyboard to sort of move the hand about or like legs or whatever you want for this i'm just gonna rotate this a tiny bit more and maybe grab this one place it down a bit more and rotate it in until they're just both touching and then grab the hands sort of go like that so now that i've done that i can go back onto edit just the exact same process here go on to set within yes set priority idle and then file and export or save if you want to click on the link get the numbers up here oh god get the numbers up here uh copy them go off of the link if you want to close that close that um you once you've like closed them obviously you won't be able to select anything um because that's just the way the animation works i honestly don't know why but you just want to click back onto home click select and then you can select again and then just go onto the seat go on to sit and then and then paste your code and uh, paste your ID, sorry, inside of there. I think maybe I can move it a tiny bit there. Right, let me see if this has worked now. Hopefully it has. First try, maybe again. Okay, so, oh yeah, sorry, 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 you guys. Um, if it's a standing animation or pose, uh, you want to lift it up like quite a bit. It won't affect anything when you walk into it, do not worry it's just uh, so it doesn't go underground so like yep so maybe i have to move it a bit more towards the wall around about that much and then move it down about that much maybe right let's see if this works so if you mess up just like honestly just keep going like nothing's gonna nothing's gonna go bad if you mess up but um, yeah, so just a tiny bit more down and a tiny bit more to the side. So yeah, it's coming out pretty well. Let's say round about there and round about there. Alright, if it doesn't touch then that's fine. I've showed the video and hopefully it has worked. Oh god! Yes, it actually came out perfect. So yeah, this is how it looks. Um, the standing one is here and then the laying down one is here so i hope that helped you guys i hope you enjoy the video and uh i'll try and upload a, a lot uh, a lot more than i am right now bye